Well, what do you know? Boy Scouts about five years ago let in sodomite scoutmasters. And then in 2020, they're declaring bankruptcy from all the sex abuse uh, things. I think a picture, what do they say? A picture's worth a thousand words. Let's read Romans chapter 1. Paul, a servant of Jesus Christ, called to be an apostle, separated unto the gospel of God, which he promised afore by his prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, which was made of the seed of David according to the flesh, and declared to be the Son of God with power according to the Spirit of holiness by the resurrection of from the dead, by whom we have received grace and apostleship for obedience to the faith among all nations for his name, among whom are ye also the called of Jesus Christ. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First, I thank my God through Jesus Christ, for you all, didn't know Paul was a Southerner, did you? For you all, that your faith is spoken of throughout the whole world. And oh, by the way, I was born in Kentucky, which was considered a Southern state. For those of you that um, want to get offended. Verse 9, For Christ is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I will make mention of you always in my prayers, making request, if by any means now at length I might have a prosperous journey by the will of God to come unto you. For I long to see you, that I may impart unto you some spiritual gift to the end that ye may be established. That is, that I may be comforted comforted together with you by the mutual faith, both of you and me. Now, I would not have you ignorant, brethren, that oftentimes I purposed to come unto you, but was let hitherto that I might have some fruit among you also, even as among other Gentiles. I am debtor both to the Greeks and to the barbarians, both to the wise and to the unwise. So as much as in me is, I am ready to preach the gospel to you that are at Rome also. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. For it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. For therein is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith. As it is written, the just shall live by faith. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. In other words, they know what's going on, but they reject it anyways. They won't do the right thing, even though they know to do it. Verse 19, because that which may be known of God is manifest in them, for God hath showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. People, if you believe in uh, evolution, I mean, you know, verse 20 kills that idea. Verse 21, Because that when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful. So they didn't not only didn't glorify God, they weren't thankful either but became vain in their imag imaginations, and their foolish, foolish heart was darkened. 
professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the incorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. When it says that God gave them up, it means God gave up on them. That's another way of saying it. He gave up on them. And he's going to let them do whatever they want to do until it's judgment time, right? Verse 25. These wicked people, okay, verse 25, who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. For this cause, God gave them up unto vile affections, for even their women did change the natural use, that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of error, recompense of their error, which was meat. And even they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient being filled with all unrighteousness, fornication, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, debate. You ever seen people debate the things of God? Oh, yeah. Oh, well, that Bible was mistranslated, they'll say. And Paul is not a, a true apostle full of envy, murder, debate, deceit, malignity. You know where that malignity comes from? You ever heard of a malignant cancer? That's the root where it comes from. Whispers, backbiters, haters of God, despiteful, proud, boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents without understanding, covenant breakers, without natural affection, implacable, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but have pleasure in them that do them. All right, that's, that's it. Take a look at the Boy Scout picture carefully. In Jesus' name, amen.